Ah, art, the food of the soul. You like art, yes? Studying art is so cool, because art is cool, and artists are cool, and I am cool, and well, you get the point. Art is interesting because it is about ideas. In your art course, you will develop your own artistic ideas and learn about the ideas of other artists. And where will you do this? In your research workbook or process journal, of course. But you may ask, what exactly is a research workbook? No worries, we'll guide you on your journey. Take it, you. Thanks, Vinny. When you do research for a history or economics paper, the process is pretty straightforward. You have a question you want to answer, you find legit research that helps you answer that question, you synthesize that research into your own conclusions, and you write about it. It's not always easy, but the steps are pretty clear. Jack? That's right, you. But the research you will do in art is different in that the main subject will be you and your development as an artist. You will still need to find information on artists, images, and history from books or the internet. You will need to find information on certain art techniques or processes which you will document. But all that research will be funneled into developing your artwork. A research workbook is not just a sketchbook. Generally, an artist will use their sketchbook for recording things they see, like my favorite sunflowers, oh, I love you God, practicing certain types of techniques, trying out compositional possibilities, or making visual notes for work they will develop later. There are no rules, and it is up to the artist what to put in it. However, Ben, there are certain requirements for what must go into the research workbook, so you do not have total control about what you should cover. But don't worry, those requirements are just meant to help guide your thinking. They also allow you the freedom to explore your own interest as an artist. What is the superpower of the research workbook? An effective research workbook will show how you think like an artist, both visually and in writing. It will show how you come up with and develop ideas. It should show the questions you have about art and answers you have found. Most of all, it should show the depth of your purpose for learning about and making art. I've got some research workbook pages to share that were made by some students just like you. These examples are from both the IB and DSE programs, but the way these students approach their workbook may apply to your course as well. You'll note that the pages from each program show a very similar process even though each program uses different terminologies. Each student has their own style in addressing each area. You may want to pause the video when you see something interesting so you can take a closer look. We know that you're all creative people. Research on creativity shows that a creative person uses two types of thinking. The first type, known as divergent thinking, means to come up with new or novel ideas and approaches. Thinking outside the box, if you will. The second type, Convergent thinking is making connections. You'll need both types of thinking to make a useful research workbook. You don't have to cut off an ear to come up with ideas for making art. A good place to start is by asking questions about issues or ideas that you find interesting or that you care about. These issues can be social, cultural, historical, or personal. Find something you can sink your teeth into. If you don't really care about finding out the answers to your questions, then your research will become merely a chore. First, determine what you already know. Using mind maps or bullet points is a great way to do this. Then you need to look out into the world for information. Gather images, symbols, facts and figures, other artworks that address your topic of investigation. Look for ways that these things connect. Build off these connections to begin creating your own visual symbols or images. It takes time to develop a rich idea. Let the questions percolate in your head. Let thoughts stream out through your hand and you may discover new ideas. Make notes of any connections that pop into your head. Don't judge your thinking just yet. Let the ideas flow. Eventually, if you really care about your topic and you want to communicate to others, an idea for an artwork will form. Now that you've got some general ideas about your topic you want to pursue, some research on other artists will be helpful. You know, Pablo Picasso said, bad artists copy, great artists steal. Artists are curious people. 
How do you turn your curiosity about the world into visual form? Famous artist Frank Stella has said that one learns to paint by looking at other painters. This holds true for all media, not just painting. Studying artists that have been interested in the same issues as you will help you understand your topic more deeply. We'll take a more in-depth look at how to best do your artist's research in another video. For now, start off with questions. Why does the artwork look the way that it does? What aspects of the topic did the artist find interesting? What was happening in the world when the work was made that influenced their thinking? Is the work still relevant today? What was your gut reaction to the artwork? How can it help you develop your own work? So now, let's get to my favorite part. You've gathered lots of images and information and you've got an idea. It's time to start turning that idea into visual form. Artworks usually go through many changes in the initial planning stages. Nine out of ten compositional variations won't be used, and that's okay. This does not make them failures. Rather, this helps in the search for finding the best visual solution. Try lots and lots. The very first one you try may be the one you ultimately use, but by making many, you will learn from your experiments and make connections that will make your artwork richer and more interesting. Experimenting with new media or technique is research. Document this in your workbook as well, but keep it honest. When you do media explorations, they should be legit experiments. When Jack started dripping paint, it was an experiment. For him to keep making pages of paint drips in his workbook is no longer real research and a waste of time. Once you've started on your actual artwork, make sure that you document your progress. When you become famous, historians will want to know how you did it. It is rare artist who makes the artwork from start to finish without adding to or changing things as their idea goes from a sketchbook to actual form. Make notes, both photographic and written, that explain how you are revising and refining your artwork as you proceed. It's not necessary to describe every step you take, but do show how your strategy evolved throughout the making of the artwork. Oh, if they only had digital cameras in my day. Once your artwork is complete, it is important to write some form of a reflection or an artist statement. It helps a reader to appreciate your intentions, but it also helps you to understand your own process more deeply. Revisit the pages of your workbook before you start writing. An effective artist statement for a research workbook should illustrate how your idea evolved, how you incorporated your research on other artists and materials, and most importantly, an analysis on how well your artwork expresses your intentions. The nature of this video suggests that you should approach the various parts of the research workbook one step at a time. But really, when you are working in your workbook, the process should be more spontaneous and organic. You'll be coming up with new ideas and reflecting at all stages of the process. You might find new artists after you've done your initial artist research to look at. You will make connections that will lead to ideas for artworks you might make later. Don't worry too much if it's a little bit messy. Like one of my paintings, it's reflecting your free-flowing creativity. It is true that the research workbook is part of your overall assessment, and in order to score well in your course, you need to meet the grading criteria for it at a high level. School is school, after all. Your teacher will give you the specifics of your particular program, and you should, of course, follow their advice. Because your research workbook will be assessed by either your teacher or an outside moderator at some point, a good tip is to indicate exactly which of the criteria you are meeting on each page to make it easy to see that you have covered all the bases. More importantly, approaching a research workbook thoughtfully will help you grow into a better and more knowledgeable artist. Isn't that what you really want out of studying art? If you see the research workbook as a tool for your personal development, and not just another thing you need to do in school, it will truly become a lively and evolving record of your journey as an artist. That's it for now. For you and Jack, see you in the next video.